peep what's up ninjas good morning yesterday i took a day off in terms of the videos i was working hard on the future bounce pack for you guys that's going to be coming out next month and it's a collab with js car now today i'm going to teach you guys how to make a breakdown because that's a question someone asked you know you should teach us how to do a breakdown i was like hmm that's a good idea because i haven't really made that many tutorials for it so this video is going to revolve around that um it's gonna give you a, a little different perspective on one thing guys but my camera's about to die so sorry if you can't see my beautiful face uh, and let's get straight into the tutorial all right let's get straight into this guys so i have this drop here and here we go into the break so let's talk a little bit about what we're gonna do now we're not gonna have you know like a how do you say like a melody idea for the break that's different from the drop however one of the things i tell people is that if you cannot figure out a break just use this drop melody and a lot of people are gonna go like what you can do that and i always give song examples like for instance showtech space jungle uses the same melody in the drop and in the breakdown the difference is that in the breakdown the melody is harmonized with chords and you know different kind of sounds to give it this tropical kind of vibe to it <laughs> While in the drop, it's more like, let's get fucked up, and it works perfectly fine. So don't be afraid to do that. Just make sure to do it in a very classy way. You don't want to use the same lead or the same version of the drop lead in the break. Just because it's going to get tiring really fast. Also, make sure to do automations as you transfer along. So what we're going to be doing here is giving a little bit of breath after... So we're going to be using this plug from the pack to... And we're gonna make a different melody from the uh, from the drop melody. Now, I just want a fucking um, simplified version of this, not like a melody that's on Red Bull, but like a more slowed down. Okay, and then no double hit here. Now we're just slowing it down as you guys can see. I do want this up an octave. Now, the cool thing about Ableton is it does have some MIDI capabilities. Like if we kind of, you know, highlight all of these and we click here, we're gonna pretty much double the tempo so it goes fast. Or we can do the opposite of that, which is, you know, make it longer. So it's up to you. These are cool little things that Ableton has for people that actually go deep into Ableton, which is one of the reasons why I love Ableton. I've never made tutorials on that, guys, but just, you know, go, go, you know, you can even add legato to it. Which is going to make the notes just a little bit more, yeah, together. Um, and you can always hold it over here and you'll see on the, t on the left here, it'll tell you what it's actually doing, like legato, lengthens, or shortens, each selected note. You know, so some really cool stuff there. All right, so once we have the melody there, this is the one we're going to be going with for the breakdown here. Let's kind of move this forward here. We do have some chords in the drop. And I really like them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually add them here um, before the chords even come in. Oh, sorry, the pluck even come in, comes in. Now let's click show fades here and make this shorter. And then we're going to make a reverse for this. Now, making a reverse is fairly easy. All we're really going to do is go in here and we are going to use a reverb. And the reverb, what we're going to do is add that on this, but at a very high rate. And it's only going to hit once. And then we are going to record that. Very. So you can see that here. We're just going to do that here. And now we're going to add a lot of decay time to this. And this is how we make a lot of the reverse. All right, so now let's record. Um, yeah, we're going to open this channel up here. I think, does there anything there? Nope. And then we're going to record that. We want channel from the chords coming into this one. Post mixer, not pre. And then we're going to record that. Look, play out. And there we are. And now we turn this off. I'm eating fruits, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, we're going to turn this off here. And then we can go back to what we had. Now. These are our chords for the song. And now we just put this bad boy over here. Shape it to how we want. Reverse it. Increase volume if you need to like that. So you can see what it's doing. We're going to cut the shot around here. 
and then we're gonna right click show fades and then we can kind of shape this a little bit you can see so then there we go now let's kick show fades make this right and again you know you can go in and just make it however you feel however you think it will you know fit it so i like that now let's add an impact which i know we have here and i recommend you guys always use the impacts that you have already in your song don't use like five different impacts in a song it just doesn't make sense sometimes you, you're all over the place with it All right, and I do want the bass to come in with that. So this is just my idea here, and we're going to add... And I think it's going to sound a lot fuller there. And let's have the bass stop with that. So the chord stop here, and then we repeat that. So let's copy this over, actually, so we have the same pitch bends on this. And then... So we yeah, so we're gonna have to do it there but you know when you're making a, a breakdown guys try and use sounds that you already have in your drop if you can because that's just gonna make it a lot simpler for you because every single time you open up serum you always have to find a new sound and finding the right sound sometimes takes a lot of work unless you have the cell revolution pack just kidding guys even then it sometimes requires a lot of effort to kind of find ways to layer certain sounds together and, and all that so if you have like a, a a formula that works in your songs that you figured out all oh, these leads work really well together for this stop make sure you save that make sure you remember that because that's just going to save you so much time Sounds a lot better. Let's go. Now we're going to grab the kick we used for the song and you know the deal. We're going to add it. Now make sure that your sounds have a sidechain and I, for these project files, I use the Ableton compressor just because I have this vendetta of showing you guys how to sound pro, I guess, using Ableton, you know, plugins only. Going from here, I do have a vocal, which I think is very corny. And I just used it because I thought it would be kind of funny, which is called La Llorona. So I'm just going to add that here to kind of make the transitions a little bit better. So let's just make sure that's in time there. I know it's cringy. Now we're gonna filter this bad boy in slowly and then don't forget the effects like crashes to signify a ch and We're also gonna add the drums from the drop which are gonna be right here And we're gonna add those there Okay, cool. And then from there, again, we use the same effects here. Let's use a longer one, and then we grab this build here that I had beforehand over here. And that would be kind of like our, you know, our transition to the second drop, which then would drop into. You could take this a couple of different ways. For instance, this lead here could come in here if you wanted. Uh, I personally am not a fan of it, so I'd rather stay with the pluck. However, there is no nothing wrong about having the lead come in here like in our second like when the kick drum comes in. you 
You know, and then we're also going to have the bass here. But that's generally how I would go about making the, the draft of a breakdown, guys. Um, and from there, it's just creativity, like deciding, oh, you know, I want to change this up instead of I'll want to get a different melody or or I want to have there be like a kind of like a more epic breakdown. I'll be making more tutorials in the future for breaks, guys, like how to have it that nice little um, trick where you have the, the chords play with the kick. Dun, dun, dun. You know, usually it get, creates that impact. It's very easy. All you're going to do is the certain chords that you want them to kind of pop out. You're going to play the kick with it. It's that simple, but I think it, it deserves a, a tutorial, which I will make in the future. Anyways, guys, if you guys want to support the pack, as always, Cell Revolution is going to be there. Uh, remember, don't, add ad, don't run ad blocker or pop-up blocker on the website. There's no need to. And I'll see you guys next time, Ninjas. Take care. And you guys have an amazing day. Yeah, yeah. Everybody in the front. Go.